We will not be lectured about politicization, and all of your words and sanctimony will not cover up the fact that this administration was not prepared for this crisis, and it put lives at risk, American lives at risk. Some of my friends on the other side of the aisle, including the ranking member, began sanctimoniously to say, we don't want to politicize this issue. Too important. Well, we didn't politicize the fact that the global health and security uh, and biodefense desk at the National Security Council was dismantled by this administration two years ago. We didn't politicize the funding of health public health in the United States in budget after budget that in fact made critical cuts, which we restored. We aren't the ones that called the alarm being raised about this pandemic as fake news. That came out of the President of the United States' mouth. And no gaslighting is going to hide that. And politicization when the President of the United States finally did go down to CDC with you, Dr. Redfield, he appeared wearing this hat, a campaign hat, in the middle of a crisis. We will not be lectured about politicization, and all of your words and sanctimony will not cover up the fact that this administration was not prepared for this crisis, and it put lives at risk, American lives at risk. We didn't have the tests we needed. We didn't have the diagnostics we needed. The president made patently false assertions, which Dr. Fauci correctly corrected, about the development of, of, of the virus. In fact, he was more concerned about what was happening on the stock market than he seemed to be concerned about American public health. And that's shameful, and you can't cover that up. And we will not be silent, nor will we be intimidated by charges of politicization in pointing it out because lives are at stake. There is real concern here about the need for more uniform guidance. Granted, one size does not fit all, but that doesn't mean there's no guidance at all and no protocols that states and localities could refer to. Was it a mistake, Dr. Fauci, do you believe, uh, to dismantle the uh, office in, within the National Security Council charged with global health and security? Well, I'm, I wouldn't necessarily characterize it as a mistake. I would say we worked very well with that office. It would be nice if the office was still there. Well, we have a bill to solve that, Good. a bipartisan bill. I thank you, and I thank the chair.